Skyrocketing cost of living. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because there's an article from Yahoo Finance highlighting the just skyro- skyrocketing cost of living that we're encountering. I still realize every time I go and fill up petrol how expensive it is. But still, you know, my $1 coffee at 7-Eleven is still a dollar. Once that goes up, then we know it's it, it's really dangerous, guys. Until then, don't worry about it. It's just transitory. It's all good. You know, transitory, yeah, sure, if we have inflation for five years, that's just transitory. It's a five-year period. <laughs> anyway, let's look at this, guys. So, a shocking image shows the cost of living set to skyrocket. And this is written by Eliza Bavin. The cost of living has been rising, and new data has revealed it's set to get worse. Now, a lot of people were investing in precious metals, gold, shares, property, crypto, to try and protect your wealth from this skyrocketing cost of living. We'll have to see how it, how it all works, if it actually works. As gold or silver it hasn't really taken off, what about Bitcoin? Crypto, crashing property, you know, Australian gold. And it's starting to fall too. The heat is coming out of the market. We'll have to see. Maybe it will be uh, people who can grow their own food. The most re- recent NAB business survey found cost pressures for businesses had continued to climb after hitting record growth rates in March. The survey revealed purchase costs for businesses jumped to 4.6%, showing the costs of good, goods had continued to rise. And this is the thing... You've got Anthony Albanese calling for increases to wages, and that will also add to cost pressures, everyone. This this whole thing is going to be a mess. The politicians are going to promise whatever they can because they're sheltered from reality, and we're all going to pay the price one way or another, either through increased costs, uh, offshoring, de-incentivizing people, hiring Australians, more automation, or finding ways to cut costs. If businesses are struggling with the rising cost of living, that is sure to be reflected in the next in, the next inflation read next quarter. As expected, Q1 CPI results showed inflation has risen sharply and the April survey results showed little let up in the underlying cost pressures that are driving prices higher, NAB Group Chief Economist Alan Oster said. This is going to be a year of inflation. Is it going to be like the 70s, guys? You know, where where uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger made all his millions in property. Price price growth eased somewhat in in the April survey after hitting record rates in March, but remained high when looking at the history of the survey, supporting our expectations that inflation will remain elevated in quarter two and likely quarter three. One of the issues we have here, everyone, is we're not used to inflation. It's been so long since we've had any inflation We've had our first recession in 28 years, and now we're getting real inflation for the first time in living memory. And, well, businesses aren't set up to deal with it. People aren't set up to deal with it. It's going to be interesting. I'm noticing, or Rachel's noticing and telling me, the costs of all of our uh, shopping at Aldi. It's all getting more expensive. Even the coffee's going up. Shrinkflation. This is interesting what they're doing. They're... Rather than shrinking packages, they're, they're changing the whole brand, making it smaller and looking at, and turning it into a completely new product. We've noticed that a few times. So is the cost growth accelerating again in April? Here's the purchase cost. Purchase cost 3 MMA. Labor cost, there you go. Three-month moving average. Everything is going up. Look at that. Okay, so when did we last see something close to this? was just before the GFC. Yeah. This is going to be unique. However, despite the rise in costs, the survey found business conditions were positive and the Australian economy was resilient. Still, the strong business conditions, including trading conditions and profitability, show that the economy is faring quite well. And so far, demand is holding up in the face of higher inflation, Oster said. Well, what's come out today is revised consumer sentiment, everyone. This is what I wanted to keep an eye on. And it's tanked. It's tanked. So it's definitely in the negative. We're at 904 you can see there, yeah, so this is the result of the cash rate changing. Interest rates going up, confidence is going down. Maybe that's enough to 
to cool things down a little bit, but we'll, we'll have to see. I honestly think most of this inflation is supply-side, not demand-driven, at least in certain sectors. I think, well, it's both, but demand is artificially inflated by government pouring money into the housing sector, as it always does. So, the cost of living has skyrocketed, showing the biggest growth since 2002. CPI rose 2.1% in the March 2022 quarter and 5.1% annually, according to the latest data from the ABS. So this is the biggest cost of living increase in 20 years, everyone. In 20 years, 2002. I I was three years out of high school then. I think I just... Had I started my architecture degree? Maybe I had. I I can't remember anymore. It's so long ago, I can't remember. Here you go. The most significant contributors... To the rise in the March quarter CPI were new property prices, 5.7, fuel, 11%, tertiary education, 6.3. Continued shortages of building, supplies and labour, heightened freight costs and ongoing strong demand contributed to price rises from newly built dwellings. Ahead of price statistics, ahead of price statistics at the ABS, Michelle Marquard said when the data was released. The CPI's automotive fuel series reached a record level for the third consecutive quarter, with fuel price rises seen across all three months of the March quarter. So, there you go, everyone. Let's, let's have a talk about this one. How are you dealing with these cost of living increases? I think, well, there's going to be a lot of consequences to this. Everything, you know, your mortgage rates, repayments are going up. We're seeing that. And people are going to start cutting back. They're going to start tightening the belt. But one concern I have is if you really want to save money, food is a big part of it, and people might be pushed to buying crappier food. We got our food budget down really, really low when we were doing it real tough years ago. But we weren't on the carnivore diet. There, guys, we were eating rice and full carbs and all this stuff. So there could be, I would argue, long-term health scarring resulting from a recession if it's, well, even just cost of living increases. But then again, most people will probably just, well, if they're eating the standard Australian diet, will it make much difference? They'll just have to cut back. So... One to keep an eye on, guys. We're seeing consumer confidence falling. We just need to keep track of everything and uh, prepare for it. Let us know some hints and tips that you have for dealing with this. The one I would suggest would be buying, buying in bulk, buying meat in bulk, saving, getting cost savings like that. But that you need to have equipment. You need to be able to store it. You need to have a couple of grand to do that. So not everyone can. Just cutting the, the uh, luxuries out of your life. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and want to support us, there are a few ways you can. You can financially support us using YouTube or Patreon. Use any of our referral links from Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. Or if you need architectural services, we've got a lot of commercial education and resource sector experience. Hit us up there. Take care, guys. Have a great day. And I will see you in the next episode. I'm a bit flat out at the moment. I'm under the pump. So I'm only putting out one video a day. I'll probably keep that up for the rest of this month, if, if I can. It's pretty tired. I, for, I completely forgot about this video, so that's why I'm quickly doing it tonight. Take care. I'll see you later.